Hey y'all, Chloe's grandpa here. I know we're used to doing the, um, we're in the middle of doing that series of Out in the Yard, which will continue, but I just wanted to get on here and I'm in Daisy's room. She's being a nutball. Um, I know. Today at 7.50 something this morning, Wyatt was born. So now I am officially a two-time grandfather. I'm Chloe's grandpa and now I'm Wyatt's grandpa. Um... I don't know if I... Daisy, your tail is just too much. I know it's a lamp. It's shut off. Don't worry. It's not going to hurt you. Well, it's time to play tug of war. Ow! Um, yeah, I'm a grandpa. Figured I'd share that great news with y'all. On top of the fact, 300 subscribers... You guys are amazing. You're just too much. Your encouragement and your love and all of that is greatly needed every day. I struggle with a lot of things, as many of you know. And feeling loved is one of those things. Especially when you... When great things happen in your life and you're not invited to the party because of your past or things that you used to do when you're not that person anymore and you feel different about everything and you feel judged and all of that by your past that you've apologized for maybe or Maybe you've already working on yourself daily to be a better person and other people just don't acknowledge that or they don't forgive you. Um, sometimes love isn't enough. I know that sounds stupid, but just the word sometimes isn't enough. You need to see it to be shown that you're loved. Um, and you all do that for me. And I appreciate it. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because days like today, I just don't feel it. I don't feel any part of it. Um, do I deserve that? Everything inside me is telling me, yes, I deserve every bit of it. But I don't. I'm measuring up by human standards when I'm not, I don't, I don't judge people, okay, except for myself. Now, that's stupid because... Most of us think that we're right in what we do. Well, I don't. I don't ever think I'm right. I have to second guess on whether or not I'm correct. Um, I'm the Google 14 times kind of guy. Measure 30 times, cut once. Well, cut a half a time, then measure it again, and then finish the cut. That's me. Um, but I've apologized. I've tried to fix things. I've tried to live completely different. And it doesn't seem to make a difference. It makes me wonder if I should just give up. I mean, honestly, it's one of those things that I don't know. I... Do what I can to be the best person that I can to fix all my failings. And that's just it. It's not for me to fix my sins. Not at all. It's not for me to fix 
what other people think of me. It's not for me to fix that. Okay? Part of being a Christian is you give things to God for God to take care of. Well, all of that is stuff that God's God takes care of our sin. It's not us for us to fix our sin. Come on, are you smart enough to fix your sin? Can you handle it? Well, you know you can't because you're weak and you're going to, the more time you think about, if you spend all day thinking about how you can get rid of your sin, are you thinking about God? Or are you thinking about your sin? Because if you're thinking about your sin, then 100% the devil's winning because you're thinking about your sin. Regardless of whether you're thinking about, oh, how can I make up for it? You can't. You will never be able to make up for it until you take Jesus into your heart and into your soul and you accept him as your savior. Okay. And then once you do that, them sins that you're worrying about, Jesus will take care of them. God will handle all that. It's not up to you to sit and worry about every day. Oh, man, I did it again. I swore and cussed, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? It's okay. God still loves you. Okay? Don't try to fix everything about yourself because you can't fix it. If you could fix it, you would have already fixed it. Okay, so that just means that you give it to God. You don't sit and worry about, oh, I got to fix this. No, you don't. God will fix it. If something's in your life that God doesn't want, trust me, it'll leave your life. I'm just saying. Um, I used to be the F word king. Every other word out of my mouth. I've had people tell me, I'm trying to be a Christian. Can you please not swear so much? And now people apologize for swearing in front of me. Ain't that a trip? Daisy. But... I've just, I have this feeling of unworthiness that most of you know, and everyday things don't help me. Um, like, for instance, what's going on right now, all right? I feel so unworthy of, of things like, I'm going by Facebook messages on my grandson being born, okay? And I mean Facebook posts, not actual messages to me. Um, because of the relationship that me and my daughter have, which is broken, and it's my fault, and we I don't have I don't deserve to have a relationship with my daughter. I don't deserve this, I don't deserve that. And then like I haven't talked to my daughter and probably we messaged each other a week ago. I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks. Could I call her? And yeah, I probably could. And she would answer and she would talk to me and everything would be great. But I don't push it because I already know that I'm not the favorite person. So I don't push it. I'm happy with the boundaries that we have. And I'm just happy to be in part in part of her life. But then things like today where she had a baby today. <coughs> it's a lamp, Daisy. I know. I know it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Um, I 
and I'm not, I wasn't even, I got notification, not even a notification on Facebook. I just got on Facebook and there it was. I wouldn't even know that my grandson was born today if it wasn't for Facebook. And I take that to heart. Like, touche, you win. I give up. I'm not worthy. No matter how much I try to be. No matter how much I try to fix it. It's still broken. My grandson was born like three hours ago. I still haven't even gotten a message saying, hey, Grandpa. And who's at fault for that? Is it me? Is it because I'm not worthy of being a grandfather? Well, duh, I know that. Been a piece of doo-doo most of my life. And I understand that I just don't know, man. It doesn't make me feel any more worthy of anything, especially love when that's all you take out of it is everything I've tried to do is null and void because it's the same situation it was six years ago when Chloe was born. It's the same thing. I didn't meet Chloe until she was five. So there's that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change things more than what I have. I am who I am, I guess. Maybe what the issue is, is I just don't give it to God and let him fix it. I've been trying to fix it. So I'm done trying to fix it. I'm going to pray about it. And I'm going to give it to God. And we'll see what happens then. In God's time, things will fix them. Things will be fixed because God will fix it. I'm just going to quit trying. And I'm going to give it to God and let him try. Okay. So yeah, there's great news. 300 subscribers and a grandson all in the same day. A day that should be just stupendously happy. And here I sit and feel I'm not even worthy enough to message my daughter and tell her congratulations. That's how I feel. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and say thank you for each and every one of you subscribing. Um, it started out as my granddaughter. That's what she wanted was all these subscribers. And I appreciate that because it makes her happy, I think. Um, if she cares, I don't know. Um, but it makes her happy. And that makes me happy. But the 300 subscribers, I understand, is... Dude, it means a lot to me. It means a lot more to me than I thought it would. Because it makes it makes me feel like I got love out there. Now, I know my daughter loves me. I know Candace loves me. I know my wife loves me, my sister, my brother-in-law, my friends, and all of that. I say friends, but I got like three of them. Which is oddly amazing, because I've known... One of them since 
the ninth grade. I've known one of them since I turned 18. And the other one I've known for 15 years. And those are my three friends. One of them is a Christian. One of them is a non-believer. And one of them's an atheist. Um, but I know I got love from all them people. I know I got love from my daughter. I know I got love from Candace. I know I got, you know what I mean? My family, my friends. But y'all don't know me from Adam. You don't know me from anything. And yet I get love from you guys. And I appreciate that because it means a lot to me. I know, Daisy. I know the lamp is shut off. You don't like it. Silly dog. Um, but I wanted to thank you and let you guys know that Wyatt was born this morning. Uh, as far as I know, a healthy boy. Um, Facebook didn't say anything besides that. So there's my great news of the day. Tomorrow, the series on cleaning the yard will continue and maybe even a what's in the shed. All right. Um, thank you guys. Y'all have a great day. Go out there and make your kids smile. Go out there and whoa, Daisy getting all excited. Go out there and make your kids smile. Go out there and make yourself smile. Okay? God loves you and so do I. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.